Okay. We're going to take a picture regardless. But uh, you want to get Deontay to look at it? Uh, he, 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 so it, so Fury's really, going to pick his gloves and whichever odd, he can look at it, but it's not going to change the fact that they're approved, inspected, weighed, cut up, and that's it. No, that's no, all no, there is to it. There's no way anybody can tamper with them because he and I opened them from the package. Okay, he, uh, he, We weighed them, we cut those, um, he put them back in that box and yeah. sealed it up and locked it. And like Brought this, here. Like this guy. And now he's going to seal them in this after he picks the gloves. And we're going to give the gloves. And this will be opened you know, tomorrow. So that nobody can camp tamper. There, there is no opportunity tampering. opportunity for anybody to tamper with the gloves. Guys, yeah, I'm not being disrespectful at all. Like I said before, the guy who Lawrence and Coley just fought had packing gloves. Did not look like that. I just want to know why. That's what. Well, that's there's right. Everlast gloves that don't look like that. Those MX gloves don't look anything like that. The MX gloves look more like this. Everlast gloves, mm -hmm. right? The MX, the MX gloves feel just like this. And the rings. And they're Everlast, and they're acceptable too. Just because there's more than one bottle, bottle of packing, just like there's one more, more than one bottle of, uh, of Everlast. Get down to look at them. What happened was Fury gloves that he chosen, which is the same thing that he had the last time. He had like little to no padding. It was like about this small of padding. Yes, those right there. It was it had little to no padding in it, and the rest of it was horse hair, which you know we thought horse hair was was out of the question. It was illegal, so but they said it was, and uh, so we say cool. Now they opened up my patterning, uh, my gloves, my glove, my glove pattern at least two to three inches thick. You know, his glove looked like they was used, already used, just like the ones you're seeing that is displayed on this screen right here. It looked like it was already folded, and binned, and looked like it was thrown in the trash and got back out and said, hey, we're going to reuse these. It's recyclable. And my, my argument was that this is not enough patterning in these gloves. And they was trying to convince me that the horse hair in the gloves make up for everything because the horse hair is actually harder than the foam. And I was telling them, you know, they're wrong. Because the thing about the horse hair is that over time, the horse hair can spread. And if the horse hair spread, it gets thinner. So that way, right. that way you only feel that small patterning that that is under the horse hair. Now the man tried to go on and explain well, you see these lining, the lining right here, the, where the thread goes, it, it can't it can't go nowhere. Of course it can't go down, but it can go from left to right in the pad. Of course, you know, you're not playing with no sucker. <laughs> you feel me? So I started explaining to him, of course it can't go up and down, but it can spread left to right. So as the horse hair, all you got to do is start push punching Anything you can just you can just put your your hands together and go like this with the gloves with the horse hair punch a wall right. the horse will will start to expand exactly so now it would make it that you just have a fist up in your hand a top secret weapon and I was trying to educate him on it you know and one of the guys even said gloves bend they on ninety degree angle you know and. You know, like I had to look at them. I had to take my glasses off, like I did fear in the first press conference, so they know that I was real. You, know, you ain't finna, you ain't finna jive me, Turk. So uh, as I started explaining more, we got into it. They were like saying, "Well, if you want to be on the same playing field, um, you can wear the same gloves, or you can get another selection of gloves." I said, "Okay, let me get my MXs." And anybody know about the MXs? Those are punchers' gloves. When right. the message first came out, you know, I was breaking eye sockets, I was breaking wrists, and I was doing a whole lot of other things to fight it. You know, even broke break my hand a couple of times, but that was due to my, I think my hand wrapper was 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 um uh, was uh when he wrapped my hand, it was too tight, and I have so much power that all that force would go in one place and it would crack my own hands. So right. I went back to my old MXs to be on fair playing grounds, and and um so we got it all situated. I still had to go back one more time for some other stuff. Um, they team came in and, you know, Sugar Hill was talking about, well, it, it, it hasn't been, it, it, it's been over 72 hours and, uh, you know, but we got some things situated and uh, we're back, we're back at it. And I'm very happy with what's going on with the gloves. 
since they want to have little to no padding in their gloves, we're going to have the same thing and make the best man win. What's good, family? So mash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell. Wow, so we just heard there from a Deontay Wilder flunky don. But before we go into my analysis, I do want to say, I do want to give a level of praise to Deontay Wilder's flunky looking ass. Because uh, I was vexed. The other day, Tyson Fury came out and said, basically, Wilder's been moaning for two years, but he hasn't taken any precautions. He hasn't made, he hasn't notified my team of any kind of precautions or any changes or anything. At which point I heard that and I thought, you big Wally Wilder, you really are super low IQ. Now, again, Wilder's IQ is still up in the air. However, I was encouraged to see that at least they was, you know what I'm saying, at least this time he actually can check the gloves. Because I don't care what no one says. When any, anyone who's boxed at anything knows that there, to sit there and say, you're 100% sure, Fury's, there's nothing suspect about Fury's gloves. You're, lying to, you're either lying to yourself or you ain't got a clue what you're looking at. Because guess what? We know for a fact, if there was loads of examples of people doing similar things or looking like similar things to Fury, we'd have seen comparison videos. Oh, look, YB. Look at this fighter from the 80s. His gloves were bobbling around like that. And no one done that because they don't exist. So anyway, my point is, you might have heard my opinion. End of the day, Fury was only hitting Wilder with his hand. The same hand that he could have hit Fury with. That's my ultimate conclusion. He weren't, there weren't no metal in there. There weren't nothing like in there. He was getting punched the same way. He got whooped. So, it is what it is. However, it's now, the onus is now on you to make sure you're satisfied with the with what's going on. Now you saw the video there. Essentially what's happened is Deontay Wilder's team are complaining. They've got, I believe Wilder was due to fight in the Everlast Powerlock Pro 2s. Yeah? Which are the glove he's been wearing for a few years now. Now anyone who, uh, that's the glove I use a lot of the time. Everlocks, why? Well, what Everlox, Everlast, sorry, Everlast Powerlock 1s. But he's got the new ones that have just come out. My point is, anyone who's tried the Everlock, Everlast power locks, they're extremely fur, extremely padded, especially when they're brand new. It takes about you need about three, four hours of hard work in them to break them down, and even then they've still got heaps of padding in. Now the gloves that Fury's using are Path and Sport. Now this, and I'm surprised, and this this shows you how low IQ a lot of boxers are. And a lot of boxing teams are. There is a hack in the boxing game. Yeah. The hack is. Horsehair gloves. Horsehair gloves are the ones Paffin have got. And in this video I've showed you at the start of. At the start of this video. You see the difference. Horsehair. Has no way near the level of. Protective. Quality. As foam does. Foam is a technology. If that makes sense. Horsehair is just damn horsehair. <laughs> you understand? Bottom line. And horsehair doesn't have any... It's hair, in it? If you've got a big ball of hair, it's not spongy. It's not, it's not designed... Foam is designed to absorb impact. So... We've got a bunch of hair. And we also know when hair gets wet, it's almost good for nothing. If you, if you wet... If you, if you've got an afro, for example, I've got an afro. If I get, if I put, if I make it wet, it's good for nothing. It's not spongy at all. So when them horsehair gloves get some sweat in them, that hair is good for nothing. Whereas foam, yes, when foam gets wet and damp, it becomes less spongy, but still it holds its form. It doesn't become completely useless, which is what horsehair does. And that's why I believe over time. Fury's gloves, the horsehair gets wet with sweat, and that's why they can look like a bobbling. His hands aren't in them properly, and then it's all looking like a, a jack-in-the-box thing going on. A bobbly head, a Winston Churchill dog, a Churchill dog bobbling head, one of them ones. But anyway, where I'm going with this is, it's clear, yes, the commission said we're not changing anything, and that's the, it's the thing again. My, what I'm saying is, it's a hack. 
But it's a legal hack. The legal hack is you can wear horsehair gloves. I don't know why every team doesn't do it. Yep, we're wearing it. There's two main gloves. You've got the Everlast MX. I believe Clayto Reyes used to do a, a Mexican version as well, but a lot of these companies stopped doing them. Either way, Everlast MX is a famous horsehair gloves. Those are the gloves that Marcos Maidana wanted to wear against Floyd. Floyd said no. Floyd said put him in the same gloves I've got. However, Floyd ended up having to pay a million dollars to Maidana because they were certified by the board. Now, this is, is exactly the same situation Wilder and Fury are in. Fury's opted for the horsehair gloves, and rightfully so. Why wouldn't you? Wilder's has ended up kicking up a fuss saying mine have got much more padding in, his have got less, this isn't fair. At which point the commission say, listen, we ain't changing nothing. And at which point Team Wilder decide, okay, we're going to wear the Everlast MX instead. So ultimately, as you heard there from Wilder, he's changed his gloves to wear an equivalent pair to the Path and Sport. But my whole thing is, why didn't, what, what I bought... Why are boxing teams so low IQ? Why aren't you starting with the M last MX? I don't get it. It's, it's baffling. Why even bother complaining? Why, why not just agree, yep, we're going to wear the same gloves? It's really quite weird, unless we know Wilder has dodgy hands. So maybe he was hoping to try and force the issue so that they both wear padded gloves. Or they both wear them, yeah, the more, the non-horsehair gloves. Why? Because then Fury wouldn't have any advantage over him. And he'd be able to protect his hands, if that makes sense. Maybe Wilder, because he had mentioned that when he was wearing, his wore the Everlast MX before and he broke his hand. So maybe Wilder was hoping, well, you know what, I don't really want to wear the MX because my hand might break. So if I can get Fury to wear the padded ones, that means we're on a level playing field. However, what this is proven is, this is proven that Wilder is kind of scared of Fury's power. Or he is taking Fury's power into consideration before Wilder was of the idea that, listen, I don't care what advantage this guy has. He's got nowhere near as much power as me. Now he's taking it serious. And that's a good sign, to be fair. That shows he knows he's in a serious fight, which is obviously the case. And that's something he didn't believe in the first and second fights. But that can work both ways. We've seen AJ. Look at AJ in the ring. When he knew, when he feels like he's in, he's in danger. Yeah? So the fact Wilder is, we're not going to know, this is the thing, we're not going to know until Wilder's in there. Let's, don't forget, this is Wilder's first fight back from a loss. Is Wilder going to be gun shy? Well, we know. Wilder's giving Fury much more respect because he could have said, listen, I don't care what he's got. He could put iron bars in his gloves and it's not going to hurt me. That used to be Wilder's attitude. It's not anymore. And we're not going to know until the first round or two what Wilder we've got. Is he potentially a great where he's going to come out and be more ferocious and more aggressive than ever? Lennox Lewis style when he came back. Or is he going to go... Anthony, is he going to go the Deontay Dalai Lama route and be moist as you like? Only time will tell. Yeah. What we do know is Wilder, he's been talking the talk, he's been talking the most fear, the division. But we all, everyone can talk. What matters is when the bell goes. And I'm, I can't lie to you, yes, I was kind of pessimistic about this fight, but now it's here, now it's hours away, I'm rock hard for it. Rock, rock hard. Do I be lipstick all the way out right now? Yeah, so I'm glad Wilder's team are taking it serious. I'm glad Wilder's team are on their job, and rightfully so. Because like I told you, for me, there ain't going to be no excuses after the fight. I don't want to hear about your suit. I don't want to hear about your drink. I don't want to hear about your glove. Because even if Fury's gloves are bobbling again, yeah? Guess what? It'll be on someone in Wilder's team during the fight to make it known. If I was Wilder, I'd, I'd employ someone... Yo, man, you're going to sit there. If you see anything fruity going on with the gloves, you're going to tell me in the corner. Or you're going to tell Malik to put to bring it up with the referee. Don't let me hear no one making no videos after this fight. Because guess what? I don't want to hear it. Especially, obviously, if he loses as well. don't want to hear it. Make sure you're prepared. And like I said, 
to be fair to Wilder, he looks like he he's taken precautions, and rightfully so. Now, Team Fury and a lot of Fury fans have come out and kind of slagged him off. Oh, he do. But listen, it's the game. I'd much rather him take be extra spooky right now than be mo making damn excuses. Because I told you, there ain't going to be no excuses after this fight. None. You knew that you were going in there potentially with a precarious individual. So you can't... What's that saying? Fool me once, fool me, fool me twice. I don't know what it is. Some, some dead thing like that. Yeah? <laughs> one of them ones. Yeah? Fool me once, fool me. I don't know. One of them dead things there. 100%. So whatever that thing is, that applies to this situation. If you get fooled twice, if you get punked, for, if you get a face for a bust twice, that's on you, man. Yeah? If, if Fury is able to tell you to tip your head back and say, and say, ah, and you end up getting a face full, that's on you, boss. It's not on no one else. That's who it's not on. How about that? Either way, the fight's here now. It looks like it's going to be a level playing field. It looks like Fury would be a fool to try anything spooky, I'd have thought. Knowing. But then again, he got away with it last time. But yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I can't see Fury trying it again. But some people are saying, is this why Fury didn't want the rematch? Because he under he can't pull them tricks. We don't know. Only time will tell. Either way, I'm locked in for it. No doubt. <laughs>